Well, we just arrived in Venetia and um, had thrown a few pork chops onto the grill. And the guy comes over and says, hey, we've got a free water taxi service over to the restaurant, which is cool. So have the number, have the menu. They gave the menu. They came with big dinky so we all could fit in. They can bring us to the restaurant, restaurant and, and bring us back. Stuff. So it means we can drink alcohol if we wish to. <laughs> Never no, stopped this before, but I never. No, you never, <laughs> never use a uh, dinghy when. Under the influence, exactly. Yeah. exactly. But never you could go that years. level yes. when they bring you back. Yes. No, but that's cool. That's the first bay where we meet this, and we read in, that's going. In Croatia, it's the first time we've had this, so yeah, cool. cool. Very nice. So, so, might, might check it out for uh, breakfast, we'll see. Kupini, yeah. Kupinica, that's the name of the restaurant. I hope we will go there, if, uh, if, we, not, if we not. Then we there, have no internet. At least to. Good to know the Kupinica, <laughs> Kupinica restaurant in Venice. Can bring you yeah, in. Yeah, they will look after you. That's nice. Okay, Monica's the guinea pig. <laughs> Are you calling me pig? No. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Send us a postcard. We're on the way to Skardin to be close to National, uh, National Park Krka. Krka, that's how they say Krka in Croatia, of course. And to go to Skardin, we have to go through Sibenik. So basically, we have to go into this bay on the right side where is a fort. And then we go up to river, no? And that is the channel. And then yeah, so I say we go to the bay, then we go to the channel, to the lagoon, yes, and then we go up to river. This is Nicola Fort. It is impressive fort. But funny is, look at this man standing in the middle of the sea fish. <laughs> you see? Oh my god, that's how shallow it is. Let's 
UNESCO flag. Yes, we can see UNESCO flag. What's UNESCO flag? It's like a museum. It's a picture of a museum, but the pillars are like the letters. Okay. And it's, and the, and, and the, and it's written out of the letter UNESCO. <laughs> And we just passed the channel and we are in the lagoon. Now it's time to go up to the river. Okay, so this is not a fishing farm, it's a mussels and oysters farm. I wonder, can you go there and buy? Strange weather, it's not gonna uh, rain. Why we, always when we go through any channels, we have this kind of rainy weather, no? And yes, but when we go through Corinth Canal, and the same when we go in this, through this bridge in a Evia channel, we have this misty weather. Has to be channel weather. Bridge just behind us. We passed the bridge. And now, Captain, you show now, please, on the map where is this bridge where we just passed? The bridge is just here. Okay, and then yeah, there's we... a high tension cable, and then we turn starboard and on into the lake. Over here, yes, yes, and then we go to this lake. Across the lake and up the river. Yeah. And we anchor over here opposite the sky. So from this bridge here till here will take us about one hour, no? bridge on the front. We're nearly there, but that's another bridge we have to pass. It's so dark, I don't know, can I show this? The lawns. <laughs> Leon is jealous because Max is feeding a swan. Yeah. Thank you. He's asking for more. We're not the first boss who's feeding him, you know this. Okay, so we're going to repeat everything what we say in the boat just in case if the engine was too loud and our voice wasn't recorded. So it's uh, after 11, we're supposed to. Okay, where we are? We're in the Krka National Park. Krka National Park. It's yeah. guarding, and we're supposed to leave probably about 9 o'clock in the morning. And it's 11, and we only started our trip. We had a thunderstorm last night, which went on for two and a half hours, which kept us all awake. We knew it was coming, we could see the lightning in the sky. It was a nice fireworks show for about two hours preceding uh, our thunder storm. And then, like, we just awake for so long, dog was barking, dog was unsettled. Max came into the bedroom, so four of us in the one bed, huddled in the corner, watching the flashes and hoping that it wasn't going to strike our mast. Because, very unusually, 
with the boats that were around us, we had the tallest mast. <laughs> yes, and just I don't uh, because I wanted to show how beautiful view is here. It's absolutely fabulous, and we've only we're only 200 meters into the park. Max, don't do that, please. And it's a little overcast today, but it's probably good for walking, good for hiking. Yeah. So we're going to walk four kilometers to the waterfall. Remember. Beautiful view here. It's nice. It's just a corner. It's how river goes. Okay, keep moving. The weather is changing. It's good for walking, but it's not sunshine. But are you done, Maxi? Oh, yes. Okay. Everyone is able to catch. Yeah, the corners. So we keep walking. I don't know. Did we make already one kilometer? I'd say easy. I'd say about fifteen hundred. Okay. Uh, we have a lovely smell of uh, that nice smell of pine. Pine? Just like walking I through the forest. It's a nice track. I can't tell the train. The smell of pine everywhere. So we have a 6th of uh, September and uh, look how many people. Oh my god, that's crazy. We prefer to watch this waterfall than the big ones, no? <laughs> now we have to go through all those people. Max, come on, we have to manage. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wow, what's going on here? Crazy, no? I think we. So we finish our trip. I think we look the worst for wear now. It's kind of tired. <laughs> and it's sunshine. I think I'm already in. Still got three clicks to walk. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven already. But it's a nice walk. Yeah, we could take a ferry on the way back, but again we chose uh, walking. Well, that's not the only reason. We will have our boat trip now back across the lake and then through the narrows back to Sibinitz and 